I mean, in some cases can be good though, because uh, I can't really see your camera control and uh, like where you're clicking when uh, when I'm watching these replays. Yeah, so I didn't record anything sadly, so it was just normal. So yeah, it's you. fine, man. It's fine. Yo, Aidan, uh, congrats. Uh, let's see you climb now. All right. So let's see. Level one, wait. I mean, your team is not kind of, <laughs> is not following, so this. Uh, it ended up working out, but yeah, I kind of, from level one, I knew that I wanted to invade because Udyr is not strong level one, kind of like the Diana situation. And then he fails my so then I get it, and then... Yeah, I mean... Uh, I basically get ahead early, but we end up losing. Yeah, I mean, if Jax was there, that would be, of course, uh, much better. Uh, the invade idea is good. I guess you uh, just need to prepare your teammates more for that. If like, I mean, I don't know, maybe a lot of people are just AFK level 1, so that uh, that can definitely affect them. Then Jack said we are going to tower dive to Camille, and I was like, okay. Typically, I don't do this. I mean, she's level one, but yeah, it's it's not easy to dive with uh, Grace, but because she's level one, it should work. Oh, yeah, that, that was super close. If she had like anything else, and uh, would be doomed. I mean, it's it's not a bad idea because you know what you're. Top uh, your bot side jungle is gone, so uh, you need to capitalize somewhat on your invade. Because in the end, if you just clear full clear this and uh, Udir full clear the bot side, then you didn't gain anything. Uh, or and you did gain the kill on Udir, but apart from that, you don't get an advantage uh, over Udir. He will farm up properly. But yeah, now now you got your top laner super ahead, so that's uh, yeah. I mean, it was a good call because of the level disadvantage. Like two levels behind is too big, and he has no TP, so. It's uh, definitely game winning. Okay, I mean, is she getting three? Yeah, she's getting three. I, I don't know. Th this one should be even close. Actually, no, she just got chunked. Okay. If she's chunked, it works. It should work. Yeah, level 3 is much uh, harder to dive. Let's see if it actually works. Yeah. yeah I was miscoordinated I mean, on who tanked, so... Yeah, the execution was a bit scuffed, but yeah, it uh, it does work. I didn't know who should tank, because I'm ranged, so I can easily get in and out, but then I realized, I mean, okay, we also need my damage. Honestly, since you cannot really, like, she can dodge your damage under tower quite a lot, if she plays well. Uh, you tanking is probably a good idea as long as J uh, Jax can commit. I think it's good then, but then he started. Oh no, you actually started. So I think. Yeah, and, like he thought he's tanking, you know, so he jumped out. But uh, yeah, uh, he sh uh, I think this is good. If you tank and he commits, he kills her and it's uh, really easy. Because your damage is not guaranteed under tower. And mm -hmm. his damage is guaranteed, right? So you can just yeah, stay on the edge. And and this is fine. Like, yeah, I think Ajax misplaying it on, uh, honestly, mostly. Yeah, let's see. Now you can start re, uh, recapturing your own jungle, so you don't get give him an advantage. Yeah, this is where I just end up just fully committing to top lane, and this is pretty much how the entire early game goes. Like, with your just farm spot side, and then. I yeah, permanently dive I mean, top, so... Generally, it's not that worth because you already have an advantage over Rudy, right? So you want to push it, but you can't push it when you guys are, like, farming different sides of the map. And Camille is already lost, like, she already lost in lane to Jax. Like, she doesn't need any more help. Uh, like, she doesn't give that much gold anymore, and Jax doesn't need any help to win versus Camille. So I, I would just... But even like, if Drake is down, I should still, like, play for bot lane? I, I mean, it depends, but you should try to uh, re recapture your comps because if it keeps up like split map then he's just avoiding you you know he's avoiding the punishment you can give him uh 
you want to match Udir and you want to keep fighting him because you have like a full item right now. So you're actually pretty pretty strong, right? Uh, you don't need to necessarily play bot side, but it's good if you can. So let's see. Do we ever get the idea? Did you ever have the timers of this uh, of the of these camps or not? His camps or mine? Uh, your 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 bot. Uh, no, because we never see them. I wanted actually some type of vision at some point from my bot lane, but they never really warded. it. Um, so that's why I just didn't end up going bot lane for a very long time this game. I mean, here. Wait. Uh, I guess it was just out of range. Uh, I'm not sure, but. I mean, the camps should definitely spawn after the Grom because you you already got. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think you can try to like just run to both side after that and regain control. If Udir is there, you fight him, and because these dives are really good, but you will gain like diminishing returns by keeping playing top side, and you you just want to not allow uh, Udir do the same bot side as well. And your bot lane is doing well as well. Uh, they're pretty fine, right, in the game. I mean, not farm wise, but yeah, they're, they're fine. They're yeah, not, I, they I felt like the game was just be... over already. But then it, it, I don't know if it was just me playing for top too much or bot lane dying too much for no I reason. Mean, let's or see what, it what was. happens. But yeah, I, I would run into both. Obviously, you don't necessarily have this timer inside the game, but you should have an approximate timer that your camps are respawning. So yeah, you, you would like to regain them and you would like to play for Dragon as well, possible. And your bot lane has tempo. This is actually not a bad timer to go for Dragon. Yeah, they, they are actually. already on it, so they get it like five seconds from now. Oh, okay. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess you would be late for Dragon. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, let, let's see what, what you do with this. But yeah, uh, I mean, here she pushes the wave, so... The kill will not give you that much gold anymore. Yeah, I feel like the time Ken's death was not needed because the wave was kind of already um, under the enemy tower. Illusion wouldn't be able to freeze it. Uh, what was it Nami? True. I mean, even if they freeze it, it doesn't matter that much. Like, it's... honestly, it, it's true. Like, the the death is not needed, but uh, I mean, yeah. I guess they didn't expect uh, mid lane room in that case. I mean, let's see. What? Yeah, when you split them up and you're stronger, you kind of just want to find this opportunity to re like uh, recapture your camps and like make it a normal uh, jungling game so you can actually punish him. And and that and that doesn't fine. matter who outscales, because I should outscale Udir, so I felt like if, like, I was already ahead now, so I felt like, okay, we're doing good, I'm gonna be stronger than Udir, and I'm already stronger than him now, so I felt like Udir was just out of the game, and Camille was out of the game. I mean, it's it's fine. Uh, I mean, if you don't want to fight, and if you, your bot lane is fine being weak side for a whole game, but you don't necessarily want to doom your bot lane being, like, uh... Always weak side, and uh, it, it can get kind of hard to play. I mean, this dive was good to be fair. Uh, she lost huge wave. The gang, they didn't. She didn't lose anything, but for a dive, she actually lost a lot. So uh, I tried to stop the Vex recall, and then I start rift. I mean, fair enough. I hope you don't use the Herald top. I, uh, I'm cause... pretty sure I don't. I mean, there, like, especially when the tower is going down, that's really diminishing returns. Like, uh, you should really, I mean, here you have a lot of gold. Yeah, yeah I, I just want to cover I, Jax. So, so as long as the yeah. tower is, is is gone, then then I'll recall. Yeah, I mean, it it's fine, but yeah. Let's see where you actually end up using the Herald. I'll probably just use it for plates on either mid or bot. Uh, probably yeah, better I mid mean, than bot. Bot will be harder because they've been neglected for quite a while, so they're definitely behind. Uh, at this point, even if they played perfectly, they would still be behind. Yeah, uh, it it probably has to be mid uh, this game. 
to what we yeah I mean we yeah this is fine this is good yeah after you get the catch you also yeah this is good this is a good hero and you guys are definitely on your way to win this game to be fair yeah but uh, we end up just completely losing it uh like I think just one play goes wrong and people start tilting and then they want another play and then they were even and they had better mental. Yeah, and then same thing here. I didn't go boots. Could I mean, have swapped it for a long sword. I don't know if it was needed or makes any difference. Yeah, I mean, probably it it probably is better than one long sword. Like obviously, if it was like for gold drinker once again, or like just finish a big power spike. But yeah, you could have went for boots here. I mean, not necessarily like a huge difference, but I think uh, between long sword and boots later in the game, uh, boots can make a bigger Oh shit! Okay, uh, I've been uh, streaming. Uh, okay, guys, I I see, I see, I see how it is. Sorry, I did not. Uh... Yeah, thank you. Uh, I was streaming the wrong thing. Uh, the wrong thing. It's all good. I have it recorded. If you want anything. No, uh, no, uh, that's, that's it's fine. Just uh, the viewers <laughs> are probably getting bored of watching a uh, league client the whole time. <laughs> uh, oops. Yeah, th this is where I felt like the game started going wrong. Them dying here. I feel I like mean, if we just waited still a be bit. Fine. I mean, yeah, in the end, them dying there, like they don't need to die there, but. Uh, uh, I mean LeBlanc was there as well, so they, they were going for some sort of play and then like they lost the 3v3. Uh, yeah, I just feel like if they just waited it, it would be 4v3 and I'm really strong. Because they're two on top, so it would be yeah, 4v3 I'm, guaranteed. This should still not be game defining, but yeah, it definitely doesn't help. But you sh you're still really good in the game and you should be, like as long as you can contest the next Drake. And, uh, yeah, I think someone gets caught and then it's a 4v5 and I think we end up giving the Drake, if I remember. Oh no, it's not yet, it'll be later in the game. I mean, you should be around me to cover for the push, like, uh, to be fair, when, when enemies uh, show their intentions. When they show multiple people mid, you're like Jax really doesn't have any wave clear, so you you kind of need to to be there to help him with the wave clear. I mean, yeah, okay, I can see how this uh, might just end up. Uh... I'm trying to play as safe as possible because I don't want to give this shutdown that I have, so I don't want to like commit. Yep. No, I mean, it's good. I mean, Tom Cage is not there. You guys have a disadvantage for sure. Yeah, I mean, your bot lane definitely doesn't need to be playing bot at this point, but okay. A bit uh, late in the game to be bot lane. I guess they are a bit tilted or being left uh, weak side uh, for too long. Can happen sometimes, can happen sometimes. Yeah, I honestly feel like that was what went wrong because everything else felt good. Like mid felt good, top felt good, jungle felt really good, and then bot lane just at some point felt really bad. I mean, it should still be super winnable this game, to be, to be fair. Uh, Unless you guys just somehow get completely demolished this fight. But no, Udyr is on the other side to get the... Yeah, we get this streak. And I mean, Udyr is top, so you go both side to use Herald, that's good. Yeah, you guys can take the star with Herald, like there is nothing... Uh... They still have too I many people. I think I'd take Red Buff first and then a Herald if I remember correctly. Uh, now, now it's off tempo though. That now, now they actually base. Uh, they can be coming here, so now, now it can be really risky. 
you should have done it before with the previous wave. Uh, now, yeah. Yes, this play, like, it just doesn't work because they push top and mid and then they base and they're running bot, so they have number advantage. Jack's no TP, so you guys cannot make this play. Uh, so do I have to Herald here or is it only an option? Uh, it, it was a good Herald if you use it now because you get tier 2 and get in tier 2. Like, if you do it now, when you see these people, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, you push this, you get get the Herald, crash it, take the tower. And it's a good herald. Do you have to do it? Not necessarily, but you will probably not get a better herald than this. Uh, tier 2 side lane tower gives a lot of gold, right? So you kind of want to take it. And this is like a situation where you have number advantage. So you should use it. You can also keep it, you know, you can take red and then just back off. But mm -hmm. you cannot fight when you don't have tempo, like when enemies have tempo, when okay. they push out. And like they obviously base after that. You cannot go for the play. I mean, I guess it's Tamkin starting it, but yeah, you should just ping back, ping back. Uh, and yeah, I guess at this at this point, you can even use the Herald, the Recall uh, to go base faster and clear your jungle that's waiting for you. Pretty much. Definitely not the right place uh, to make. And yeah. Yeah, because I didn't want to fight here, really. Like, I'm trying to just play yeah. as safe as possible. I end up getting away, but I'm forced to use flash, which yeah, is also I mean, a bit you annoying. You should ping back and then just back off and base, you know? Like, don't don't participate in that madness. Worst case, others die, and then you, like, you take your jungle, and then uh, Jax takes top tower. That's also fine. But, I mean, Baron just... Okay, Jax just get caught here. So... Yeah, and again, I can't really commit to this fight because I just use everything to get out. Yeah, I mean... And then they get Baron because of this, and I don't really want to commit because I have no vision. I don't want to give my bounty to potentially steal Baron, so... Yeah, I mean, it it is awkward. It is awkward. You don't have... If if you have the pin cord, you could actually do that. But yeah, all all starts from that fight bots played with just off tempo. So I should just spam uh, ping them to back off, and then that's it. Yeah, yeah, and and base yourself, like show them the way by by doing it. Like if you don't base, they think that you actually want to go for this play. So if you actually don't want to go for it, then you should just uh, just get out of there. You know, they'll see that Graves is missing, so maybe then don't go. If one is stupid and dies, then that's okay. That's one person dead on the opposite side of Baron. That it's not uh, that horrible. I mean, the game should still not be lost now. Obviously, you guys lost all your advantage, but uh, should still be winnable. And here, this fight I just didn't agree with because they have Baron. I feel like we should just defend. But I then, mean, thing they is, fight. versus Baron, you do want to fight, to be fair, because uh, defending towers versus Baron is really hard. You will give towers, but obviously, you take good fights. Uh, when is it good to fight? When enemies are showing on sidelines. So, for example, now if they contest it, yeah, you guys should fight. Now they push the sidelines and they're missing, so Camille and Vex can be coming, right? And so now the fight is actually not that great. So I agree with you, but I don't agree with the thought process of like not fighting versus Baron because that's exactly what you want to do. Uh, when you have Baron, you don't want to fight the enemy. You want to just push the waves and use them to your advantage. And when you're playing against Baron, you want to catch them. You want to clear waves uh, to get tempo and you want to like make any catches that you can to delay Baron. Because if they do siege, you will lose towers and you will lose a lot of gold, which sometimes you just have to accept. But okay. yeah, I mean, I don't think you could make a big difference here. Uh, I, I agree that it's not a good fight. I feel like next fight, fight should just be on Drake. Like, I didn't really look for anything before uh, possible Drake to be fair, fight. The Drake would be free, so what would happen is they would push mid, you give the push, they would push top, get this tower, uh, get this tower as well, and then like while you guys are defending here, they will rotate to Drake and get it for free. Uh, or get full control bot side and play for mid bot if they're worse players and uh, still get 
get these two towers and then uh, get the dragon for free. I don't think like there would be a fight on Drake uh, normally because they, they would just push you in and you have to be forced to defend towers. Uh, can't defend towers and the Drake at the same time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I still agree with you that that fight was uh, was a bad one. And they, they actually grieved their tempo, so you do get the dragon. That's that's yeah. quite nice. I mean, but then we end up throwing shot. another Baron, so... Let's see what happens. Get fed up and decide to become a side laner. Fair enough. I mean, they are, they are dying, so I'm not sure about like the team fights right now. In fair, so clearing waves can be the solution. Yeah, I don't know why. It's just I the issue is I I can't deal with Lucian. That that like I feel like if they could kill Lucian, I could kill everyone else. But I couldn't kill Lucian, so I didn't really know how to handle this game. This is like one of those situations where I don't know what to do. I want to get better at these situations. I mean, it is awkward because people just getting caught. They just make a lot of random bad decisions, which should not usually be the norm. So, for example. I mean, this fight makes no sense, you know, like the wave is gone and it's like under your tower. So you go in top is the right decision. And this, there's no universe where you're supposed to be there, you know? So, and like when you're coming, Tom Kane just uh, goes in really early and dies. And there's not much you can do. Like you need a proper 5-5 five, five team fight to be able to go for it. But this game, there are a lot of random catches, which you cannot really influence. So do I have to just sit? Like, let's say I want to, like, let's say the 5v5 should be in mid, because I agree 5v5 five, five would be good. Should I then just sit in mid lane awkwardly for like 30 seconds, stand still, waiting for my teammates to respawn? Or is it better to uh, just it depends push in side lane? Uh, it depends if there is objective. Obviously, you don't need to push side lane because there are other champions that can do it in this game. But in this this case, you had to go side lane because, uh, well, uh, you guys had left the mid uh, get pushed and you couldn't do anything because LeBlanc was in bot. So uh, pushing side lane there was good. It will depend from case to case. Uh, generally, if your camps are down, then you shouldn't mind sitting in mid lane, to be fair. And let's see again after a reset, right? Yeah, uh, here I don't really know what LeBlanc was doing. I think she was trying to go for a pickoff, but yeah, didn't really work out. I, don't know. Them. I mean, she's on the flank, so... Right. I mean, this should work normally. Yeah, I mean, her flank was, was pretty good. My replay is lagging a bit, but... I mean, LeBlanc did get the like the strongest member, uh, and she survived as well, so it's pretty big. Yeah, I mean, yeah, every time at backspace, now the replay will be uh, getting worse and worse case. So. Might need to restart it, but yeah, I I can't even see <laughs> what's happening anymore. Like it's uh, it's as if I'm pressing pause all the time. It just uh, frames. Can you exit and then uh, go yeah, into it again? Yeah. yeah, I'll do that. But is the game like still winnable from this point? Yeah, I mean it is. It is. You you do have uh, you do have Senna who's supposed to scale at some point, and well, she's not really in a good spot though. So it's definitely winnable. Like you're not pressured by Drakes. You're not pressured. Uh, by anything, pretty much. Uh, I mean, I guess only the mid inhibitor being done. Down, but that's like the the least punishing inhibitors to lose in the game. Let's see uh, if the replay works properly now. And usually it should.
Okay, this is the one, right? Yeah. Or wait. Fight. Actually, no, I think this is later, no, isn't it? It's a. Uh, I mean, it, it was earlier, because like we only had two drakes oh. before. So I think it's. Uh, I think it's even earlier yeah, than okay. this. Yeah, I guess. We only had two drakes at the time, yeah, so it must be it's before. Here, it's, here, it's, here, it's here, it's here. Yeah. So yes. the fight itself, I mean. The question is if we should have started at Baron, basically. I feel like this was the best opportunity uh, we had. I mean, I think it's decent. It should be a decent call and has a decent chance of working out. And LeBlanc does pretty good uh, flank, but yeah. Now you guys just turn, uh, which you do. I mean, uh, Senna dies randomly, which is uh, a bit unfortunate, you know. But now you just need to kite towards uh, Jax, and once Jax is there, you guys can actually win this. But yeah, it kind of sucks that if he runs into Jax, you guys actually win, but he runs the other way, so it's a bit uh, more awkward. You need to buy more time because it's far away. Yeah, I should have flashed, yeah. but that was like the only thing I really feel like I could have done differently in this fight to buy time. Yeah, I mean, I think like your thought process at that point, you should be disengaged. So right now you're actually, you're you're kind of out, but yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah it just flash ease me and then I'm like, they just yeah. have too much CC and this fight for me. That's yeah. basically it. I mean, yeah, it it was winnable fight. And I mean, you guys do win it in the end, you know, like it's actually one fight, but yeah. Yeah, and the 1k went to Udyr, which I don't really mind too much. Oh, yeah. Could have been played better, but yeah, Senna suicided and Tamkinch ran the wrong way. Your bottle definitely doesn't seem to be like on uh, on point and focus this game, but still winnable. I mean, it's same gold and uh, same dragons, no dragon soul side. I guess you, you kind of face check, so you have to flush. Yeah, which... I, I wanted some vision and then. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, you, you should probably just wait for for your team in this case. You don't have any wards anyway, so you can't really provide the vision uh, yourself. So, yeah. Just it ends up working out, just... but it was pretty int when I look back. I, I think what you can do is just push both, to be honest, because there's, like, until your team comes and then you regroup with your team. Because that, that one you can do, like, uh, pretty safe. And, but yeah, it is still winnable. And you did get, did get Lucian loot for your R, so that's, it's not necessarily that bad. Follow. Yeah, I mean. Definitely still seems uh, winnable. Uh, thank you for the follow deadline today. How are you doing, man? And sorry, guys, for uh, having like only on audio before. <laughs> I was doing ASMR. Was there a possibility that we could rush Baron when Udyr died, or would it be too late? Because I was thinking about it, but I, I really didn't feel comfortable due to the fact that I personally couldn't deal with Lucian, I feel like, so I don't know. I mean, these two guys need to base, they're too low. Uh, I mean, you can obviously stay on the map, but Senna is dead. Yeah, I think I think no, I think no. Okay. Someone needs to defend mid, like you will lose uh, the base, and... Senna is still dead, so it's not like you have numbers advantage. Uh, they just don't have smite. It's not the play to go for it now. Yeah, just clearing the jungle is fine. Uh, I mean, so the thing is here. Right, okay. I mean, if you just if you don't push anymore top, it's fine. But yeah, you should you should be kind of grouping with your team because uh, you need Baron vision. Let's see how the fight goes. Yeah, no, do end up killing him uh, somehow, but yeah, it's. I mean, as all the fights in this game, it is pretty close, but they felt really awkward. Not gonna lie, they they didn't I mean, feel. They're good. they're just split, you know, like they're just split, and 
you guys are kind of equal ground right now similar scaling similar gold so it will be decided by by who plays it uh, better and it's not just your normal front to back uh fights but and you guys still win this one but yeah this can be the game losing play yet at least uh yeah, yeah here i wanted them to back off i didn't want them yeah. to stay because we yeah. will always stay uh, it's a good call it's a good call for sure I feel like dying here for inhib is also just not even worth it because... Yeah, it's not worth it. It's almost never worth to die for inhib because enemies might just get uh, more uh, than that. Uh, and you don't always use the inhib to its max potential, so yeah. Yeah, this is just them. So I just have to give a Baron again here? Because uh, I almost get it. I think I miss it by like 60 HP or something. I am flipping it is not the worst. I just think they can finish the game from that, so... Yeah, uh, flipping is all right. First, now that everyone is dead, they might just finish, but yeah. No, you go in and then I almost. Yeah, the problem it. is you don't have vision, so it's 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 not good flip at this point anymore. I think it was good like to stay and uh, try to flip it uh, here, but Jax did go a bit to to harm. It was still a bit too early. You guys had decent vision. If he didn't go there, then Vex cannot just go and assassinate and get out. You guys can kill her. Then you can always jump in to steal it. So, Yeah, I mean, after you lose the vision, you don't have spots for pink wards, so you can't really do much. Uh, yeah, you, you, shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't try after this because it's way to flip. You're relying on a lot of factors. Like, uh, everything has to go your way and... I actually realized I could get it, but because Woodrow didn't have smite, but I don't know if he, if I saw that he used it. I don't think I saw he used it because he was fighting the Jax and I didn't have my yeah, camera I mean, on Jax. Yeah, you probably didn't. Uh, yeah. But looking uh, back, I... I mean, you, you didn't die, so that's that's fine. Uh, if you did co feel confident that you don't die, then you can go for it. But yeah, it, it's a really, really small chance that you actually get there. And then I feel yeah. like we are one Drake from Soul, so I feel like we have to commit everything into this Soul fight because I feel like this is just our last chance. Like we gave two Barons, and we can get Soul, but then Tamkins gets caught, and then yeah, oh, it was the Blanc who got caught. Yeah, yeah. And then I again have to give, and this is where it just felt really awkward. I mean, this happens in games where people are just not paying attention and just getting caught. Uh, you don't get as many proper team fights. And it it kind of sucks, but yeah, you just have to base and uh, defend, give the drake. Here I did the opposite. I just went full push mode. So that's that's fine as well. You are removing one more wave where I can make play. Like you don't have a shutdown. This is this is good because uh, you did clear a wave. I mean the tower. It's not bad either, but yeah, it's not a big deal. But uh, you clearing the wave actually doesn't allow them to make a play with the mid wave, so uh, they can't use their Baron. You guys are still in the same spot you were before, to be honest. It should still be really winnable, but yeah, it's who plays the team fights better. Unless someone gets caught again, and this time, yeah. Tam Cage gets caught. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I feel like it yeah. I mean, the whole anything. game people were getting caught, so I, I understand why it feels awkward for you to play this game. I mean, you did reasonably well. I think the only thing is, uh, you should after you get top ahead, you should like try to put your attention on the other side if they didn't fall too far behind until then, so it doesn't like it's not super fed top versus super fed bot. It's uh, fed top versus uh, normal bot, you know. Mm -hmm. So you can like uh, equalize, and you kind of want to regain control of your camps when the map is being split. I think team fighting wise, I mean, you did all right, uh, and yeah, like just this game, a lot of people getting caught. So I, I wouldn't say like this game is your fault by any means. Uh, your bot lane was a bit tilted, uh, it seems, and they were making like a lot of mistakes, getting caught 
so many times. So yeah, after laying face, honestly, because of how many catches there were, I would not focus too much on that. Uh, like unless you want to go into like team fighting specifics, like uh, positioning. But yeah, the fights, the fights were do doing, uh, they were going all right. Like the only one is like the only one is here. Like this, this is the call where you participate, and like I would definitely not go for that because of uh, no tempo. So this is what after laying phase where like you you cost your team some stuff, even though you didn't die yourself, but it was chain death from the whole team. Uh, just if if uh, this Tom Kench wants to die, like just let him die, you know, and just t go take your camps, and that's fine. You don't care if he if he dies. Ping them back, back yourself, and uh, don't join into the int because this call will, will never be good. Uh, so what's the ideal situation? Because I very often get ahead with Graves because I play really aggressive. So how do I make the game feel more fluent? So when like when it comes to these like invade situations and transitioning the lead that I have into just instantly winning, like how do I do that consistently? Because I feel like I kind of just flip some plays and if they work, then I win. But if they don't work, it feels like I have to fight my way back into winning the game. Well, the most consistent way is to actually get the dragons. And this game, you did give the first two dragons. First one, fair enough, you couldn't contest. It was out of position, but... Uh... Should have been getting in position to contest the second one. Wait, are, or how did we lose it? Yeah. Uh, he just takes it while we trade for oh, yeah. the Smith Tower. Like he, the enemy jungler actually I... said something about like he wanted to open or something. So, but they ended up winning, so which was kind of surprising. Uh, and he didn't do it yet, but he he did get a gang bot from that. Yeah, fair enough. Um. Uh... And yeah, you guys are, are low enough that this can be pretty sketchy. But yeah, if you do want to close out the games when you're ahead, you do need to get the Drake stacking, so you need to pay more attention to the dragons. Uh, gold will only get you so far. Uh, you just need your win condition of the dragons to be uh, there much earlier. As the graves, you want to get ahead and then you want to control all the neutral objectives by using your strength. And that's why, like, I was so against you, like, being on this side the whole uh, game because you cannot contest the neutral objectives for that. You can't contest the drakes, and yeah, you just uh, you lose a lot of your strength because you're not fighting enemy jungler. So what if I have to trade? Because I always, ha always have this thought process of first rift tail is always better than the first drake, and even trading yeah, one rift tail for two drakes, depending on situation, is okay. And then second or third drake. And second Drake is better than second Rift Herald. I know Rift Herald just got buffed, so I don't know if it changes anything that it's worth 100 gold more now. But I always feel like first Rift was always buffed. best. Yeah, that's true, actually. Oh. Uh, and they got buffed by 50% on their buffs, so they might actually be influential. I, I haven't really like looked into it so far yet to know what's the difference. Yeah, Sometimes you will have to trade, uh, but don't trade if you don't have to. So... In this game, like getting your top lane ahead was good, and then you should try to regain control and get the dragon. Uh, so in a perfect game, would I play for the Drake before eight minutes and then take Rift Herald at eight minutes and then again play for bot side for the next Drake? Is that like the perfect way if it's possible? Yeah, I mean, uh, if you remember when Damon won Worlds, Canyon was playing Graves almost only uh, the whole time. He was probably the best Graves in the world, and that's what he was doing. Like they were getting every single Drake, every single Her Herald. He was contesting all the objectives on the map. Obviously, your team will not be dumb one, and uh, your bot lane will not have Pry without dying, and like uh, your mid lane is not Showmaker, you know. Top lane is not Nuguri, so a lot of things will go wrong in solo queue. So, but yeah, in the perfect game, yes, uh, you should be able to get the Dragon before six, uh, before uh, eight minutes, and be on Herald, then be on the next Dragon when spawns, etc., and just keep control of the neutral objectives until you choke them out. And what if enemy, so I would ideally have my top side already cleared, so I'd clear from top to bot and then play into Drake, so that enemy generally can't invade my top side? That's like the ideal play, right? Uh, let me remember, I mean, I did study Canyon quite a lot at that, uh, at that time, and he did have a specific, uh, specific clear with Graves just so he can be there. Uh, but I, I don't remember actually uh, his pathing right now, so I would need to like uh, go watch it back. 
Because if I get the Drake, but my top side is up and they get my top side jungle, is that then still yeah, you, worth? Usually it's, 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 usually it's not worth it. Yeah. Usually it's not worth it. If, because it's uh, three camps, it's 300 gold and XP, and it's uh, uh, quite a big swing. Of course, you can usually get his camps uh, at the same time, but yeah, if he gets all three camps and you get a dragon. What if it's two camps? It's not worth like if it's only Crux and Raptors? Drake. Then, then you can consider. I mean, once again, I don't know the new values of the dragons because they they have been buffed, and fifty percent buff is not nothing to joke about, you know. Hmm? But uh, yeah, you could potentially give it. A t I would need to see how influential the drakes are right now, because they were really influential. Like uh, they were winning games consistently through the drakes uh, back then. That's the reason they were doing it. Okay, well, I don't think I have any more questions. Yeah, uh... All right.